yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man, back with the blog, man. Make sure that like button, subscribe button, your way in. I appreciate all the support, man. Rare Breed Entertainment, man. Jag versus Arsenal. I don't know when y'all going to see this this blog, if y'all see it before the battle or after the battle actually drops. Uh, Public-wise, it is out already on the members-only channel of Rare Breed Entertainment. Subscribe to that if you haven't done it already to check to get these battles kind of like an exclusive and get them early. Um, this battle, bro, is fire. This battle is fire, bro. Scale to 1 to 10, I got this battle as a 9. I got this battle as a 9, bro. This is one of the best battles that I've watched this year, probably, to keep it real with you. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, they battle on the rooftop. If you saw the trailer, you already know the visuals is crazy. They got like this full circle thing where you got the camera going around the circle or whatever. Avocado got some more crazy futuristic shit going on. So that's fire. So it's basically these niggas are rapping and it's almost like the camera is spinning around while they rap. It's, it's really dope. You know what I'm saying? And we've seen... Rooftop battles. This is obviously not the first rooftop battle. Emerson Kennedy versus uh, QP was a dope rooftop battle that was on URL like maybe um, a year, a couple years ago, probably. Talking the most basic allowed, it ain't medical. That surely ain't for health. I kind of laughed at his Reggie, like when Eddie Murphy played himself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Besides that homegrown, which I long known that he fucking made himself. You'll spend a day in hell trying to stress and figure out which hybrid this hybrid seeds. You'll barely strain yourself. Nigga, the range is selfish. 2020, I'm seeing the view clear. I've been out a while now for crying out loud. It's nice to be in a new tier. <laughs> I say the resolution is the weapon shooting. If you're drinking, the proof's clear. Problem solved. If you drop the ball, just let me help you ring in the new year. And obviously, the best rooftop battle I saw was Saga versus B Dot. I think that was also on the roof. That's a crazy battle. You know, you are real should have dropped that battle on YouTube, but Saga versus B Dot was a crazy battle. These bullets I've been holding on for you, I done built a special bond with. They become a part of my extended family. I'm talking long clips, peep the comparison, biblical narrative. I'm about to let my people go and split shit with a long stick. I must admit. For you to even take this trip and engage in this war, you a brave soldier. But you're about to go a war. A war and friends gonna find him slumped on the roof. Either that or the hangover. Remain sober. I'm not mad at a rooftop car, bro. I am not mad at a rooftop car. ARP, URL, King of the Dot, Remy Mob, y'all listening and watching this blog. What about this concept? Putting all the battles on a roof and then the next day. You sell them on a pay per view. So let's just say you had an entire car, right? Let's just let's just make up some name: Geechee Gotti verse Hitman Holla. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Aver verse Ill Will. We just throw a whole bunch of names together, and you shot them right on a particular. Let's just say you shot them on like a, a Saturday on a rooftop. Everybody was quiet. No no Twitter updates. No nothing. No media loud. Nothing. Nothing but the company and the ballers on the roof. You shot it, and the next day, we bought the pay-per-view, and when we sat in front of the pay-per-view, it showed all the rooftop battles. I still think they could generate enough pay-per-view money to still make a car like that work, because these rooftop battles, I ain't gonna lie, bro, um, them, them shit's fired. The visuals, the way everything is set up, it ain't nothing. It don't look like it ain't nothing but about 12 niggas on a roof. To keep it real, it's just all it look like that's, that's around these niggas, but the battle was fire. Jag was really good. We know what Arce do. Arce just battle B Magic. We know we know what Arce do. You know what I'm saying? When he's motivated, he wants to battle. This is what he does. You know what I'm saying? So salute to him for still having the motivation to still give you good performances. Like, yeah, he may take some battles that may not go his way, like the KCJ battle, but he still has moments where he still brings it. And it's hard to do when you didn't battle so many people. It's like, yo, who who's the end game for Arsenal? To to a lot of people, Arce may be the end game. So unless he's battling like Mook or somebody, and I don't know, Mook did say he would be interested in battling Arce. I don't know how Arce gets a lot of motivation, but he did with the B-Magic battle. He was fire in this battle, bro. Arce was fire. I'm telling you, Arce delivery is stage present. Like, Arce got the complete package. Let me talk about Jag, though. I spoke to Jag. I was going to do a sit-down with Jag 
like a week ago, but we just couldn't line up things right. You know what I'm saying? Like I was in LA, I was in Vegas and he was in Vegas and I was in LA and then he was in LA and then I started to come to this battle, started to go watch this battle live, but they was kind of tripping on how many people could be on the roof. So just to make sure there wasn't no issues, I just kind of sat this shit out because I know Battle Rock would be having entourages. Jag was so happy, bro, to have Arsenal on his resume. He wasn't even worried about winning or losing. He was just like, do you realize, bro, like, I want to have one of the best resumes for an industry person to come back to battle rap. And I battled a lot. And I feel like he's having a rejuvenated career. He didn't battle Rosenberg, Raw, forgot who else he battled, and now Arsenal. And it's just kind of like, yeah, he took his lumps in the ill will battle. He took his lumps maybe in the old red battle and max out. And now you're starting to see what Jag can bring to the table. And I think this setting was kind of perfect for Jag. And obviously you got a blood in Jag and a crip in, in, in Arsenal. And there was a lot of bars about that, but it was fire. Jag first round, he had a Trey Young bar, shotgun, Suge bar, easy to block captain bar and J2 bar. So he did a lot of name dropping with some people that you familiar with, some celebrities and some battle rap niggas. He put, you gonna put money on my head you better hope your bread lasts. It don't matter if I got bread. I can't keep a girl. All she see is red flags. So talking about his whole gang ties. And like I said, he had the, the easy Trey Young shotgun shook, uh, J2 bar. He had a good first round, man. Arsenal came back in the first round. He obviously had that, uh, you claim rolling 20. Why that hood? What happened when I turned you into a pack and really be rolling 20s in the backwood? That bar was on a trailer, but he had a nice little, uh, ARP bar. He was like, yo, where the fuck is ARP at? He flipped that into like a whole Adam 22. Where the fuck is ARP like Charlie Clips it? That's a funny dude. Gucci cross trainers, that's an ugly shoe, but that's what rapper money do. I will make you give me permission to fuck your bitch for 60 minutes and share it with cuz. Meaning she gave Adam 22. Now, this is a short battle. It's about only like seven minutes long, 17 minutes long or something like that. So I think these are like two minute rounds. I gave Arce the first round. Second round, Jag comes back. He does. He He's dissing Jersey a lot. You know what I'm saying? In this particular part. He's dissing Jersey, dissing Shotgun Shug, and everything like that. Talking about, you know, the West Coast versus Jersey. Nobody needs to be supporting Jersey like that. I don't trust you niggas because you battle rap niggas be dumb soft. Don't be that nigga in that cookie shop getting baked. It can be an arsenal of young Dolphs. Kind of like that bar. I like that bar. He had a great... He had a great Vine setup that was cold, man. It might have been my favorite bar of the whole battle. He was talking about how his man got killed in jail, and I guess he was a blood, got killed by a crip, but he heard it through the grapevine. That was fire. The sacrifice that you give him is you. That's why I hate when you get up here and act like you from Grape Slime. Nigga, I had to deal with my nigga getting killed in prison. That take time. Nigga, I told him if something happened to him, I got his family. I'm a straight line. Nigga, now I'm sitting up here taking care of some kids that ain't mine. All because he got killed in jail and the judge saying they heard it through the grapevine. Like, bro. Ars comes back in the second round. He has a raising cane, raising grape setup. I actually kind of like that, that, that uh, bar too. He said, you not really blood. Or that's actually food color. And that shit was kind of funny. Um, he flipped the whole ARP. He had another cold ARP kind of bar. Like you relying on Adam to keep you alive. Like, you know, you have like atoms and electrons or proton, whatever you have in your body to keep you alive. He had, he, that was a nice little flip. You blood niggas always weird and be faking hard. Takashi showed the world. He a snitch after breaking laws. Whack give. Uh, niggas, 100 reasons to break his jaw. All you OGs turn young thug when you facing bars. And he was basically talking about like bars or, and also himself. You know what I'm saying? You can't spell bars. Can't spell arts without putting bars in it. So the second round is close. I may edge Jag. I'm not going to lie. I may edge Jag in the second round. Third round, um, there was a lot of like crit bars in this third round. A lot of blue this, blue that, blue this, blue that. He kind of used blue face. He talked about um, you ain't no real loke. He using fake like Tone Loke or some shit. That shit was actually fire. The Tone Loke setup was actually fire. That was Jag's third round. Ars comes back. Uh, this is who they gave the lead role. You don't even look the part. I was slinging bags when Ness and Babs took that Brooklyn walk. No chest bumping. I swing on sight. But you the new Jag. You pushed the start. And he pushed them. Basically saying the new Jag. You know what I'm saying? You got to push the button to start. That was fire. I'm not going to hold you. I don't want to give too much of the battle away because I'm actually dropping this recap 
before the battle. Yeah, like right before. So I think the battle comes out on Thanksgiving. This recap will probably drop tomorrow, um, Wednesday or whatever. Today's Tuesday. Drop tomorrow. But fire battle, bro. One of the best battles I've seen this year, man. Definitely go support it when it drops on YouTube tomorrow. Go support this. This was a crazy, crazy battle. And um, I want to talk about something else in like a future blog because I realize that of something that's going on with these small rooms. Like I realized that, but if this is what we getting in terms of the visuals, you know what I'm saying? This is why our avocado is one of the goats, man, because this nigga is able to put some crazy visuals together. Salute to them for that. I want to see an entire rooftop card. I think you can pull it off. The biggest problem is, is niggas can't hold water and you don't want to let the battle out before it happened. You don't want to tell niggas what's happening to the battle. I don't want to pay for pay-per-view and then the battles happen on Friday and they show the battles on Saturday and the whole time Friday night, niggas is online talking about, yo, I heard Jag lost to Ars or I heard Ars lost to Jag. Like it'd be, it'd be hard to keep niggas quiet, bro. That's why you really can't invite nobody. It's just like you can't even invite niggas, you know what I'm saying? But it's always going to be some nigga like, yo, I'm hearing Geechee Gotti beat Hitman or I'm hearing Hitman beat. Like, if you could keep that shit under wraps, it'd be good. This battle right here, Ars first Jag, nobody said nothing. You don't hear Ars talking about it. You don't really hear Jag talking about it. You don't hear a lot of build up into the battle. This battle was kind of shot real quick, real secret and real private. And nobody had a lot of talk about it. I don't know if you could do an entire car like that, but if you could, it would be fire. It'd be worth trying. Definitely feel like it'd be worth trying. Chris Unbias, holler at your boy. Right.